Good morning, my most wonderful and amazing artist. I'm back with round two of the Chinese New Year celebration of our dragons. Remember last time I drew the simple dragon for you? This is the very simplest form that you should be doing. Your fourth and fifth graders, details and workmanship is what separates good artists from great artists. So you know if this is too easy for you, things that you can do to make it more difficult. Maybe add another one to it and on a bigger paper or something. Or go for another kind of dragon, the mask or the entire dragon, okay? Do some research. Look at some cool online books. Look up different dragons. This one's in the water. There's all kinds of fun. Maybe you're going to do like the thing from the Chinese New Year parade, okay? You should have, your lesson should be, your project should be no smaller than 9 by 12, no larger than 12 by 18. So once you've reached your final draft for your for your Chinese dragon, remember we want to fill the page because that's what the picture is all about. But while you're doing that, consider what you're going to put in the background. Is it a nighttime picture and you're going to do like crayons that are fireworks and then paint it black? Or are you just going to color it like blue because it's flying through the sky? That's what I want you to think about. So draw Tracy Race color. There's lots of coloring options and choices that you have. Regular crayons, colored pencils, paints. Some of the stuff that my kids at school want to try are neon. So if you go to the Dollar Tree, they have neon crayons, neon oil pastels. So give it a go. But remember, test it first before you do it on your final draft. We don't want you to have to start over. And remember to always come to your Zoom meeting prepared to share your artwork. Have a great week. Enjoy your creativity of these Chinese dragons. Make it fun. Have a great week.